to Dabo Region Tunong Aguila in support of the Comprehensive Region-Led Learning Continuity Plan. I teach integrating technology, academic community, and the household, ensuring every learner is safe and protected anytime, anywhere. Anchored on Sulong Idokalidad, this is DepEd Regional Office 11, delivering quality education across Davao Region. Good morning, Region 11. Good morning, Davao City. Good, Good morning, morning Talamo District. District. Welcome to Dunong Aguila, a radio-based instruction program para sa bata, para sa bayan. In cooperation with Brigada News Davao. I am your teacher broadcaster for today, Emmaline D. Mulato of Talomo Central Elementary School. You can call me Teacher M. I am Gerald Kagapi from Catalunan Grande Elementary School. You can call me Sir Gerald. Good, Good morning, morning Ma'am Ems. Good morning, Sir G. How are you today? I'm very much fine, Ma'am Ems. You look good today, Sir. Kita-kita ko. Parang inspired na inspired ka. You look more handsome wow. than Gerard oh. Anderson. Grabe si Ma'am. Mamula man tag pinalive, ano Ma'am. Anyway, salamat sa compliment, Ma'am. Yes, you are right. I am very excited. And of course, our grade 4 pupils is also excited together with their parents. Yes, the more pag yun na sila ma-excite run, sir. Kay today, parents and pupils si Sir Gerald na ay pa-surprise! Wow! Yes, ma'am! To all our viewers and listeners out there, wag kayong bumitiw, manood, makinig at matuto para makatanggap ng papremyo. O, oh, ba? Bongga? Oh, ano bang ituturo natin ngayon, Sir G? Today, Ma'am Ems, we will be discussing the mathematics for week 7. Ang learning competency natin ay estimates the quotient of 3 to 4 digit divided by 1 to 2 digit with reasonable results. Yes, Sir G, when we say quotient, it involves the fundal fundamental operations division. Quotient is what we call the answer in division. And dividend and divisors are the numbers that we divide. Am um, I make sense, Sir G? Yes, ma'am. So kids, wag magpanik. Madali lang itong gagawin natin today. Laging ilagay sa isip, madali lang ang division. Yes. Especially pag magaling ka na sa table of multiplication. Exactly, Sir G. And today, hindi naman natin sila pahihirapan mag-divide. We want them to have fun in numbers. Am I right? That's true, Ma'am Ems, because today we will be learning estimating quotient. Yes, and what is estimation, Sir G? When we say estimation, we are not giving the exact answer. Instead, we are finding the value that is closer or nearer to the exact answer. Mm. And how are we going to do that, Sir? There are ways on how to solve that estimated quotient, Ma'am Ems. But before that, Let's tackle this problem first. Will you please read the problem, Ma'am Ems? Yes, sir. Uh, on the screen, kids, sabayan niyo ako, ha? Arnel helps his father gather 475 guavas. They plan to place 47 guavas in each box. About how many boxes do they need? Thank you, Ma'am Ems. In order for our viewers and listeners out there to understand what the problem is all about, let us, let us answer the following questions. Number one, who helps his father in gathering the guava fruits? Well, for sure, masasagot yan ng ating mga grade 4 pupils. Parinig nga ng mga sagot nyo, kids? Wow, ang lakas naman! Yes, you're right! It is Arnel who helps his father gather the guava fruits. Ang galing nyo, kids! Let's proceed to question number two. What is us in the problem? Well, the problem asks about how many boxes do they need to put the guavas they harvested. Okay, to answer that question, we need some facts. What facts are given in the problem? Hmm, the facts that are given in the problem, uh, we have 475, which is the number of guavas they harvested. 47, the number of guavas per box. That's correct, Ma'am Ems. But what are we going to do with this fax given? What operation we are going to use? Hmm. Since we have 475 guavas harvested and 47 guavas will be, will be put in each box, meaning kids, 
we are going to divide 475 by 47. Therefore, we will be using division. Yes, you're right, Ma'am Ems. We are going to use division. We will divide 475 by 47. And what do you think is the answer? Oh, oh no. Am I going to give the exact answer? No, no, sir? no, Ma'am Ems. Hindi <laughs> pwede. Buti na lang, sir. Mm, but why, sir? It is because the problem asked about how many boxes they need, the word about suggests that we need to estimate and not to give the exact answer. Alright? Mm, so kids, remember that if the problem ask about about how many, about how much, or kung saan problem man niyang itatanong, you, there's no need for you to give the exact answer. Ang gagawin lang ay mag-estimate. Now, how are we going to estimate, Sir G? Madali lang, Ma'am M, sa mga bata. Napakadali lang mag-estimate ng quotient. There are two ways on how to estimate the quotient. Number one is rounding method. In rounding method, we are going to round off the dividend and the divisor in its highest place value. Remember the rules in rounding whole numbers? Yes, sir. Alam kong alam din yan ng ating mga grade 4 pupils. Now, on screen, makikita ninyo yung rule number 1. So, rule number 1, if the right digit to be rounded is 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, you have to copy the digit to be rounded and its right digit or digits will become zero. Yes, that's correct, Ma'am Ems. How about if the right digit is 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9? Now, on screen for our rule number 2, if the right digit is 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, all we have to do is to add 1. Remember, huh? Add 1 to the place to be rounded. And its right digit or digits will become zero. Absolutely, Ma'am Ems. Let's go back to our problem on screen. To solve the estimated quotient of 475 divided by 47, we round our dividend 475 to its highest place value. Yes. The highest place value is 4, which is in the hundreds place. Its right digit is 7. Therefore, we are going to add 1 to 4. So, it becomes 5. Correct. And the two numbers in its right will become 0. So, 475 will become 500. How about 47, Ma'am Ems? Well, in 47, Sir G, the highest place value is 4, which is in the tens place. And its right digit is 7. According to the rule, if the right digit is 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, we are going to add 1 to the place to be rounded. So 4 will become 5 and 7 will become 0. So 47 will become 50. Yes! So what we have now is 500 divided by 50. Diba madali lang mag-divide, Ma'am Ems? Yes, madali lang talagang mag-divide. So, 500 divided by 50. What do you think is the answer? 10? Mm, yes, correct! Diba kids? 500 divided by 50 equals 10. So, Arnel needs how many boxes, Sir Gerard? Arnel and his father need about 10 boxes. Mm. Then, aside from rounding numbers, ano pa ba yung pwede natin gawin para mag-estimate or... In our own language, di ba magbanak-banak? Yes, sir? kanang magbanak-banak atong kung ano ng pinakaduol nga answer. Yes, ma'am Ems, we can also use compatible numbers. Hmm, compatible numbers. So explain further daw, sir. Ano ba yung compatible numbers? Compatible numbers are numbers that are easy to divide mentally. When you say mentally, you are just going to use your... Mental mind. skills or mind. Hmm. Walang ballpen. Walang ballpen, walang papel. Yes, correct. Tama. Okay, sir. Can you give an example on that, sir? Yes, ma'am. For example, about how many 12s are there in 103? Hmm. On screen, meaning we are going to estimate the quotient of 103 and 12. Okay. If we are going to use compatible numbers, we will think of a number na pwede natin gamitin para mas madaling ma-divide 
ang dalawang numbers. Correct. Okay, kids, reminders lang. Make it sure na yung gagawin yung pag-estimate ay hindi masyadong lalayo sa given numbers. So, in this example, we will change 12 to 10 and 103 to 100. So, they are now compatible with one another. By means of that, we can easily get the answer. So, there are about 10 twelves in 103. Oh, so, ganun pala yung compatible yes, number. Sir, parang hahanapin mo lang kung saan yung dalawang number comfortable. Comfortable. Para oh, parang maka, tayo, sir. No? Yes, oh, para maka-compute tayo using <laughs> our mind. Yes, that's it, sir, eh, sir G. Okay, yes, ma'am Ems. Laging tatandaan mga bata, ha? In estimating quotient, they have to be rounded to the closer dividend and divisor to its highest place value or change to its compatible numbers. So, tandaan lang talaga nila yung dalawa. Curious lang talaga ako, Sir Gerald. Ano ba talaga yung magiging sagot? Ano ba talaga yung exact answer if we are going to divide 475 by 47? Okay, as you wish, Ma'am Ems. Titingnan natin mga bata ha. Sabayan niyo ako sa screen. Let's divide 475 by 47. So as you can see, hindi magkakalayo ang sagot. So this is how we are going to solve. Tingnan sa screen ha. 475 divided by 47. So 47 divided by 47 is 1. Then 47 minus 47 equals 0. So bring down 5. 5 divided by 47 Oh, hindi pwede. So, this time, we will use zero as our placeholder to continue solving the quotient to get the accurate answer. So, we have zero times 47 is zero. So, five minus zero is five. So, our quotient in that problem is 10 remainder five. As you can see again, 10 remainder five is closer to the estimate quotient, which is 10. Ten. Kung nga, sir, oh. no? Meaning, tama pala talaga yung sagot natin kanina na yung estimated quotient natin is 10. Mm, yes, sir, ma'am. Kaya pwede pa bang humirit ng isang example? Yes, why not? Okay, let's have the next example on screen. In 1053 divided by 52, what is the estimated quotient? Anong gagawin natin, ma'am Ems? Hmm, so sabi mo kanina, sir, to get the estimated quotient of 1,023 and 42, there are two steps, or there are two ways. Yes. One is, we are going to round both the dividend and the divisor to its highest place value. Or, we are going to look for a compatible number. 1,023 is closer to 1,000. And 52 is closer to 50. Therefore, we have to divide now 1,000 by 50. And 1,000 divided by 50, the answer is 20. Yes! Aha! May tanong ako sa mga viewers natin at saka sa listeners natin ngayon. Naintindihan nyo ba mga mommy at mga kids? Oh, for sure, na yes. niya nila, sir. Diba? Madali lang. Yes. So, are you ready for our short quiz? O gagawin nating exciting ang ating quiz sa umagang ito. So, dahil nanood kayo at nakinig, titingnan ni Sir Gerald at Ma'am Ems kung meron yes. kayong natutunan. Aha, kung sino yung makakuha ng unang correct answer at makakatanggap siya ng Premium. Wow! Talaga, sir, price. Totoo yan, sir, ha? Yes, Totoo yes. Totoo talaga. Yes. O, oh, ano bang price na ibibigay uh, mo, sir? Magbibigay ako ng load. Load. Okay. Oh. Magkano naman din po? Uh, secret. <laughs> Malalaman nila secret mamaya. Secret lang oh, talaga. Yes. Okay. Wow, exciting talaga yan, sir. So, ganito lang yung gagawin ninyo, no? Just type in the comment box below. Below, di ba? Yes, May comment baba, box sa baba. Oh. Type the question number. 
then letter of your choice. Oh, kung mm-hmm. ano yung correct answer. Then, huwag nyo talagang kalimutan yung cellphone number. Then, yun talaga ang pinaka-importante. Kaya, paano kayo maluludan kung wala kayong oh. cellphone number? Mm-hmm. Take note, ha, na sa bawat tanong, isa lang po ang mananalo. Oh, isa lang po. At kung nanalo na po kayo doon sa unang tanong, kasi kayo yung nauna, tapos sa next question, kayo na naman yung una-una, i-consider na lang natin yung una mong ano. Mm. Uh, award or una mong prize na nakuha. Kasi, para may chance, no? Ang yes, iba. para may yes, chance para yung, may iba. Chance yung iba. Para everybody happy. Yes. So, simulan na natin, sir. Okay, ready? Question number one. So, on screen. Makikita yan uh, on yes. screen. So, ang gagawin nyo, just select the letter of the correct answer. Okay? So, ito yung question one. About how many 42s are there in 174? Again, about how many 42s are there in 174? So, bibiglan lang kayo ng 5 seconds, ha? Uh-huh. In 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. May nakakakuha na kaya? May nakatype na kaya ng correct answer oh, sa comment box? Uh, yeah, sa yes, video. ma'am. So anyway, wag po kayong mag-alala kasi may sekretary ho kami dito na siyang magti-take note yes. kung sino talaga yung nauna. Mm-hmm. Diba, sir? So yes. kung sila yung nauna, hintayin lang nila yung load. Okay? Okay. So balikan natin. What is the correct answer on question number one? Okay. So what is the correct answer? Okay. The correct answer is letter B. So B. what is letter B? Five. Five. Okay. Bakit pa naging five yan, sir? Anong, nang, anong bang... Mangyayari sa 174. Oh, ano kayang gagawin natin sa 174? Sige daw. I-round natin ito, sir. Yes. So, magiging? So, magiging 200, 200. siya. Tapos ang 42, ma'am? So, magiging closer man siya sa 40. So, ang 42 magiging 40. So, we are going to divide 200 divided Divide by 40. 40. So, that's And why the, the quotient is, is 5. Okay. okay. Let's proceed. Ready na, mga bata, mga mami? Question number 2. Okay. About how many 84 are there in 386? Again, about how many 84 are there in 386? Mm, ano kaya ang magiging tamang sagot? Ano kaya ang tamang Tingnan sagot? Tingnan sa screen mga bata ha. Okay, so in 5, 4, 3, 2, One, your time is up. Okay, so the correct answer on question number two is letter A. Ano yung letter A, ma'am Ems? Letter A is five. Okay. Paano kaya naging quotient ang five? Balikan natin yung problem. Okay, kasi sir, ang 386 is an 84 is compatible sa 480. Uh-huh. So 400 divided by 80, that is equal to... Five. Yes. Wow. Congratulations, sa mga winners. Yes. Let's proceed. Okay. This is now our third question. Medyo mahirap-hirap na to. So mm. dapat talaga nakafocus kayo. Oh. Sila. So tingin doon sa screen. Okay. So this is our problem number three. Okay. A carpenter has 497 pesos to buy wood. If each piece of wood costs 47 pesos. About how many pieces of wood can a carpenter buy? Again, balikan natin yung problem. A carpenter has 497 pesos to buy wood. If each piece of wood costs 47 pesos, about how many pieces of wood can a carpenter buy? Hmm, so isip-isip. Isip-isip pa nga bata. Isip-isip lang mabuti. Okay, so in five, four, Three, two, and one. Okay. Time is up. Yes. And the correct answer is letter C. Okay. okay. Ano yung letter C, ma'am? Ten, sir. So the carpenter can buy ten pieces of wood. Okay. So paano naging ten, ma'am Ems? Mm. So, kung gagamitin natin yung compatible number, sir, yes. 497 is compatible to 500. Yes. And 47 is compatible to 50. So, 505 and 50, they are very much compatible with yes. one another. Mm-hmm. Madali lang silang i-divide. So, 500 divided by 50, the answer is 
Yes, you can. Okay, so congratulations, no? Meron pa ba tayong problem? Yes, meron pa, sir. Problem number four. Okay. So, on screen, we have Amanda has 317 chickens. Only 27 chickens can occupy the cage. About how many cages does she need? Again, Amanda has 317 chickens. Only 27 chickens can occupy the cage. About how many cages does she need? Mm -hmm. mm, what do you think is the answer? A, 5, B, 6, C, 9, or D, 10. So, is it easy? Ano kaya ang magiging sagot? Ilan kaya ang kakailangan ng kulungan ni yes. Amanda? Para sa kanyang mga chicken! Maraming mga alaga si Amanda, ma'am, no? Yes, marami siyang alaga, sir. Anyway, kailangan talaga natin ngayon ito, sir, no? Na kahit sa bahay lang natin, meron talaga tayong mga alaga para... Mm -hmm. Para ba pagdating ng panahon na wala tayong uulamin, so yes. diba, madali lang kukuha lang tayo doon sa kulungan. At saka ma'am, additional income yan for yes, the correct. family. Especially now na pandemic, kailangan yes. talaga so, ng extra income ng bawat mm. family. Hindi kaya madaling maghanap ng trabaho. Yes ma'am. Okay, so I Kaya think natin. ready na yung mga sagot ng mga viewers natin at saka listeners. So ano kaya ang magiging sagot? Ilan kaya ang kakailangan ni Amanda para sa kanyang mga manok? Okay, so... What do you think is the answer, sir? Sige now, sagot. sir. Ano kaya ang okay, tamang Okay, so sagot? the correct answer for number four is letter D. Okay. What is letter D? Letter D is... 10. So, kakailangan ni Amanda ng about 10 na kulungan. Huwag ang dami talaga, sir. Wow. Mm -hmm. So? Okay, so... Again, grade four students... As I've said a while ago, na hindi mahirap mag-estimate ng quotient. Laging tatandaan, no, kaya kasi may mga grade 4 tayo na ganito ang ginagawa nila. Uh, they will get first the exact answer, and then ang exact answer nila, gagawin nilang doon sila kukuha ng estimation. Pwede It defeats the purpose. Actually, pwede siya, pwede pero siya. mas mabilis kasi ang ating competency estimation. Yes. So, dapat i-estimate talaga yung given. Okay. So, tandaan nyo yan, kids, ha? Okay, so to all our winners, congratulations. And kids, always remember that estimation plays an important role in our daily lives. Yes. It is an important skill that every person should master. We are hoping that you learned something from our lesson for today. Oh, meron ba kayo natutunan? Yes, I hope so. sigurado yan, Ma'am So, this is your teacher, M, saying... Stay healthy, wealthy, and wise. Stay at home and be safe. Okay, this is Sir Gerald, Sir G for short, nagsasabing walang pandemyang makakahadlang sa taong may gustong matutunan. Manood, Manood makinig, makinig, matuto. Sama-sama, para sa bata, para sa bayan. Sulong ito kalidad. To God be the highest glory. Bye-bye everyone! Keep safe!